What's up, pickleballers? It's Jacob here at All Drive No Drop, and I'm talking about my top seven pop paddles today. Excited to talk about these because I really enjoy using poppy paddles. They're a lot of fun for me. So I wanted to first break down what I define as pop and how it differs from power. And then I will jump into my list and I'll give you a quick breakdown about the quick things that I like and dislike about each of these paddles. And I hope that helps you make a choice if you're looking for a poppy paddle. But let's jump to the court and we'll define what pop is versus power and tell you how I test. And we will jump right in to the top seven list with starting with number one. Let's go to the court. All right, guys, welcome to the court. We're going to define what pop is and how it's different than power. So pop is that short swing. So I think your counter punches or your quick hands battles. It's just that short motion. So a counter punch, that's pop. Your power is your full stroke, either an overhead or a serve. That's power. How I determine the speed of a punch is I do 10 punches. I hold the ball in front of me. I punch it. I measure that with a radar gun 10 times and I get an average speed. And that is how I have set up my rankings today. So let's get into those rankings right now and we'll see what number one is and we'll work our way down to number seven. My number one paddle on the list is the Pro Kenex Black Ace Pro coming in at 37.6 miles per hour for the pop speed. This thing is an absolute pop beast and I it just with the low swing weight it's so much fun to play with it's very loud it's one of the loudest paddles around I'm sure you've heard the people bouncing the ball around on the court with this one that that's where it really excels you want to be offensive with this paddle you want to be speeding up you want to be getting the hands battles because the control on this not great the sweet spots a little smaller than average the power is not bad it's average power but it's very hard to control and the off center hits are a little jarring. The spin is okay in that 1800s uh, RPM range, but it's not the best. Um, so it's definitely an all offensive weapon. It does not lean towards control at all. Uh, so that's that's how I feel. It's, it's definitely not for everyone, but some people will really enjoy this. So let's jump to number two on the list and see what we got. Number two on my list is the Gearbox Pro Power Elongated. And this paddle, I mean, it's expensive too, just like the, the Black Ace, but this one, it brings with you a 37.1 uh, miles per hour for the pop. And then the serve is also the, the, the for the power. It's the most powerful paddle that I've played with as well. So you get the combination of pop and power at the elite end, which you don't get a lot with all the paddles. Um, this one is slower in the hands at the 121 swing weight. so. That's where you start getting the drawback. Most of the paddles are lower swing weight on this list, but this one kind of breaks the mold with that and still gets that elite pop. Um, control is not the best, obviously, with this paddle. We do have some deader spots towards the top. I prefer my setup with three grams of lead tape at the uh, four and eight o'clock uh, areas just to give it a little bit more stability. Gets pretty good spin. Uh, besides that, it's definitely an offensive weapon and it's very expensive, so keep that in mind. Let's jump to number three on the list. Number three on my list is the Groove and Move in 13S coming in at 36.8 miles per hour. Super fun paddle with the lowest swing weight of 100. Just lets you initiate hands battles, get into them, stay fast with your hands while still maintaining that great pop. And it has above average power still, which you wouldn't think with such a light swing weight paddle that you'd still be able to produce the power, but you can finish points with your overheads. No problem with this paddle. A um, little bit drawback, you got the shorter reach, it's 15.7 inches. So it's, for some people that's gonna be an issue, uh, just they, they're not gonna like the reach that you get with this paddle, but you know, with such a fun compact paddle, you got a little smaller paddle face. Uh, those are the pros, it gets, it gets good spin. Um, what is it, a little bit over 2000. So that's not bad either. Uh, so a lot of pros and then the major drawback is that short reach at 15.7 inches. But I I still pull this paddle out. It's just so much fun. Uh, let's jump to number four. I'm a so number four is the Electrum Model E Stealth. And this is personally my favorite elongated paddle on this list more than the gearbox because I, I really enjoy that lower swing weight that this has compared to the gearbox and you do you do lose a little bit of pop 
The pop comes in at 36.4 miles per hour, pretty good. And, it, and you might not think like, oh, 36.4 to 37.1, that's not a big difference. It makes a big difference to me. It makes a big difference to me at the net. Like you're, you're just so close together. I think that each 0.5 miles per hour difference is making a huge difference in the pop. I mean, this is still really good though. Great power as well on this. Um, I think you could play this stock, but I do add lead tape at four and eight, three grams on each side. I prefer it like that. It has a pretty low twist weight and it does play true to that twist weight. It does twist in your hand a little bit. So, and the spin's okay. The spin's not the best. Uh, it, it could be a little bit better. But besides that, this is a really underrated paddle. I don't see, I don't know if I see many people talking about this all, but it's really fun, great pop, um, and gives you still that elongated reach. So I, I enjoy it. Let's go to the next paddle. My five on my list is the mark kinetic the only other 16 millimeter on this list and it comes in at 36.2 miles per hour i mean this one's really fun because first a lot of people like the hybrid shape a little kevlar carbon fiber blend you know getting a little uh, trendy there with the kevlar but honestly just packs a punch in pop and power pretty high twist weight i think it plays a little bit below the twist weight but it does get great spin um, still controllable though, one of the more controllable paddles on this list, and I play it stock, so no problem there, I love to play it stock. And pretty good in hand battles, average 115 to 116 swing weight depending on you know what sources you're going with. I had one that was 120, This, and then I, I did test another one that was 116, but I think they've refined their production process as they've um, had a couple batches come out here. But this one is definitely a good recommendation because it has the pop and the power, the spin. Um, it, it can be a little harder to control just because it, it does have all that pop and power. But I think it's, you know, as we go down this list, each one's maybe a little bit more controllable except for the, the Groove and Move in 13S. So let's jump to number six on my list. So number six on my list is the Volair Mach 2 Forza 14 millimeter, which is the current paddle I use. Comes in at 36.1 miles per hour. Best spin uh, that I've tested. Um, just great pop. The power is not good on this paddle for a thermoform paddle. Um, I do add weight again to four and eight o'clock. That's just my go-to, um, you know, to start out with. So that is the one drawback. I love the wide body for for a paddle with so much pop. The sweet spot's big, the control is pretty good, stability's good, and low swing weight, so it affords you that ability to add a little bit of weight. It's just a great all-around paddle. Um, great, lets you perform very well around the court. And then for me, I really do like my backhand flicks and my forehand speed up, so it allows me to have a little bit more success with those with that extra pop, which is why I personally enjoy it a lot. Not a bad price either. Uh, so let's jump into the last paddle on my list and then we'll wrap up. So last on my list, but not least, is the 60 Infinity Black Diamond, which, you know, I'm surprised with it because I haven't per traditionally enjoyed edgeless paddles, but I think they did a good job with this one. Um, 36 miles per hour for the pop, great pop, and eh, average power. Not the most amazing, but that's kind of expected with these lower uh, swing weight um, high pop paddles. It's just the power is usually not going to be there as well. Um, amazing spin, almost up there with the with the Mach 2 Forza. So that's awesome that they got that new peel ply grit on here. Really spins uh, well. Um, quick in the hands, decent sweet spot for being an edgeless paddle. It doesn't twist in your hands. I personally have been playing it uh, stock and I've been enjoying it. Uh, so this is a great option if you want to. Get an edgeless paddle in a hybrid shape, low swing weight, high pop, decent power, amazing spin. Um, it's definitely not a control paddle, but you know, it, I think you can master the control game with this uh, to a decent enough degree to allow you to utilize all the offensive capabilities of this paddle. So let's wrap up in the conclusion. So I made this video mainly because I really enjoy pop paddles and I haven't really 
seen too many people talking about what are the best pop paddles. Um, and I see it mentioned occasionally, you know, what, you know, that people are looking for pop. So I figured, hey, I have the data, I have the paddles, let's make the video. Uh, if you have any other paddles out there you think I should try, let me know because there's just thousands of paddles out there right now. If I left something off the list, I'd love to hear about uh, what exactly you're playing with that has a lot of pop that you've enjoyed. And do you, I, I know some people think pop isn't important, um, and even the pro, some pros think it's important. You see them playing with, you know, some of the popular paddles still, and then some play with, you know, like say Lux Control Air, and they're not concerned about the pop. So let me know if you like pop, what your favorite pop paddle is. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love, I love to hear from you, and I love to bring you more stuff in the future. We definitely have more reviews, more giveaways coming. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much, and go play some pickleball.